हॅलो आय एम श्रीकृष्ण कोल्हार फ्रॉम विद्याप्रतिष्ठान कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग बारामती आय वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस व्हिडिओ वी विल लर्न अबाउट बॉडरेट सेटिंग फॉर सिरियल कम्युनिकेशन इन एट झिरो फाय वन मायक्रो कंट्रोलर टू स्टार्ट विथ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी द नीड ऑफ सिरियल कम्युनिकेशन बेसिकली द डेटा कॅन बी ट्रान्समिटेड इन टू वेज वन इज पॅरल अँड दी अदर वन इज सिरियल इन केस ऑफ पॅरल कम्युनिकेशन the data is transmitted one or several bytes at a time to do that eight or more parallel lines are required to transmit the data in case of parallel communication a large amount of data can be transmitted in a short amount of duration but it can cannot be used over a long distance and the reason behind it is that parallel wires are more prone to damages and ultimately to the loss of data so serial communication is used to transmit data over a long distance in case of serial communication the data is transmitted one bit at a time in terms of either 0 or 1 so it is difficult to make sense of data unless the sender and receiver they are agreed upon some set of rules on how to package the data and this is known as framing in data framing the data or an ascii character it is framed between start and stop bit the start bit is always a single bit whereas the stop bit can be one or two bits also the start bit is always active low whereas the stop bit is always active high notice that whenever there is no data transfer it is indicated by active high whereas low bit indicates the space between two characters now here in this example we can see that first of all the start bit is transmitted followed by d0 bit which is nothing but the lsb of the data then rest of the bits are transmitted and then the last bit or we can say most significant bit followed by a stop bit which indicates the end of data frame now since the data is transmitted one bit at a time in serial communication the term known as baud rate is very important and it is defined as the rate of data transfer in bits per second the baud rate in 8051 microcontroller is programmable and it can be set by using timer 1 in mode 2 before actually seeing how the baud rate is set by using timer 1 in mode 2 first of all we will see the relationship between crystal frequency and the baud rate let's consider the crystal oscillator frequency is 11.0592 megahertz it is first of all divided by 12 to get the machine cycle frequency which is nothing but 921.6 kilohertz again 8051 microcontroller uart circuitry divides this machine cycle frequency by 32 to get the frequency that is provided to timer 1 to set the corresponding baud rate and the that frequency it is 28800 hertz which is used for setting the baud rate now we'll see how to set the baud rate by using timer 1 in mode 2 let's take an example consider the crystal frequency is 11.0592 megahertz and we are required to find out the value that is to be loaded into th1 to set the baud rates of 9600 and 2400 respectively now let's see the solution now the crystal frequency is given to be 11.0592 megahertz so the first step is to find out the machine cycle frequency of 8051 and which is given by crystal oscillator frequency divided by 12 which comes out to be 921.6 kilohertz the next step is that to find out frequency provided by uart circuitry 
to timer 1. So for that we will divide machine cycle frequency by 32 to get the corresponding frequency and which is nothing but 28800 Hz. Now to have the baud rate of 9600 we will have to calculate the value that is required to be loaded into timer 1 that is TH1 and for doing that we will divide 28800 Hz which is nothing but the frequency provided by UART to timer 1. It will be divided by 9600 the baud rate which we want to set and the answer that we will get is equal to 3. Now the value to, that is required to be loaded into TH1 in decimal it will be negative of answer that we got in step 3 which is nothing but minus 3. So if we will load TH1 with minus 3 value then we will have a baud rate of 9600. Now if we want to calculate the corresponding hex value we will start from the highest value in hex that can be loaded into timer 1 that is TH1 and it is nothing but FFH and we will start counting in a decrementing order thrice to get the corresponding hex value. So FFH, FEH and FDH. So FDH is the hex value that is required to be loaded into TH1 to have the baud rate of 9600. So in this way we can calculate the value to be loaded into TH1 to have the corresponding baud rates. In same way we can find out the value that is required to be loaded into timer 1 to have the baud rate of 2400. Now first two steps will be same as in previous example. Now here we will divide 28800 Hz frequency which is nothing but the frequency provided by UART circuitry to timer 1. We will divide this frequency by 2400 which is nothing but the baud rate that we want to set and we will get the answer equal to 12. So the value decimal value which is required to be loaded into TH1 is nothing but minus 12 to have the baud rate of 2400 bits per second. To have the corresponding hex value again we will start from highest value in hex that is to be that can be loaded into timer TH1 so which is FFH and we will start counting in decrementing order 12 times so we will get the value to be equal to F4H and F4H is the hex value which is to be loaded into TH1 to have the baud rate of 2400. Now pause this video for 30 seconds and think about this question. Why timer 1 is used in mode 2 only, not in any other mode? The answer is that as mode 2 is auto reload mode, once the baud rate is set, it will be maintained throughout the duration of data transmission as well as reception. That's why timer 1 is used in mode 2. Now these are the different decimal as well as hex values that are required to be loaded into TH1 to have the corresponding baud rates. This is the reference book by Muhammad Ali Mazidi on 8051 microcontroller and embedded systems that I have referred for preparing the contents of this video. Thank you for watching this video.